Hey everybody and welcome back to our Let's Play, or actually, not a Let's Play again, a Let's Build. <laughs> Got those all confused. Um, but as I promised, like I said, it's a time-lapse video and from now on, it will be time-lapse videos from now on. You know, I did notice I have been yawning a lot in my previous videos. Um, it's kind of hard for me to uh, build and talk at the same time, so I guess it is a much better idea for me to just start doing time-lapses and uh, focus more on talking about what I'm building rather than me building and talking at the same time. Uh, I really don't know why that's making me a lot sleepier, but uh, I guess it's because of the multitasking. My body can't really handle that much multitasking. I can only do one thing at a time. But uh, yeah, enough about me gawking about whatever the hell I'm, uh, my weaknesses are. Um, but yeah, in this one, we do work on a little bit on another attraction. Uh, according to the title I did, Steamboat Stupid. You'll pretty much understand why I named it that. Uh, but all in due time, guys. All in due time. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> oh, right there, what I'm building right now. At least for now, that will be the entrance hub or the entrance plaza to our wooden roller coaster that I was mentioning. Yeah, finally, we are finally getting to a bit of uh, attractions rather than just building buildings and pathways and scenery, which, of course, that is my expertise. <coughs> but, however, of course, roller coasters are too. But, you know, I mean, whatever goes first, which, of course, is also the theming first for me. Um, Let's see. Uh, let's see a little bit about myself that's going on right now. I did mention that I have been picked up by a network. I uh, don't want to name drop yet. Um... <coughs> I'm a little bit cautious about these guys, um, it's not because of them, it's because I have, um, I have joined another network, probably the guys that, if you guys are still here, the guys that watch my Chronicles of the Exile, you, I think you can still find it in the old network, uh, however I did, you know, break ties with them, I did, uh, um, I think it's, um, most likely, yes it is, uh, those videos are still mine, however, yeah, see, that's why I call it Steamboat Stupid, you just saw them just go right through the... Uh, freaking, uh, uh <laughs> right through the freaking, uh, pathways. <laughs> no, it gets so much better after that. And it's not just that single part, but it does get a lot better. <clears throat> but, uh, <laughs> get over that, I swear. Just when I saw that, I'm like, really, is that what you're really going to do? You're, you're just going to go around, not, not even around through the lake. You're just going to go right through the pathway, whatever. Um. But, uh, yeah, you see, I'm, I'm much more enthusiastic when I'm talking, while I'm watching this. I don't know. I guess it's a lot better now. There we go. Good. I, I should have done time lapses more often. God. Ah. But, uh, whatever. Um, let's see. About the network. Uh, previous network, I didn't do so. You know, I, it gave me the runaround. It's also both my problem. Whatever. It's just that I wasn't really too good with the old network. Um... The reason why I'm giving this other new network consideration, uh, it's got no lock-in contract, so if I'm not really satisfied with it, I can just say, whatever, I don't want to be partners anymore. However, I did find some bad things about them, but mostly good, and that's why I'm possibly considering joining them. I mean, I've also figured out in some videos that if, uh, if, this, if my videos do ever get popular enough, YouTube is going to crack down on me and say, oh, no, you can't make these videos, they're copyrighted. So just to save my, just to save my butt, and just to, so I can make more kinds of these videos, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and consider uh, joining them. So of course, you know, you guys get more videos. It's a win-win situation for everybody. Um, speaking of more videos, I mean, that, again, that will give me a much bigger drive in order to make uh, the videos here. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, besides making, oh well, I'm looking at the video right now, and I'm wondering. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened there. Um, I just go ahead and went, zoomed out, and just to say, well, what what is this? So I had to go ahead and drain the lake and redo it. You'll be able to see it without me doing it. But um, let's see. Uh, dude, I lost my concentration now. Um, I think it was. Oh yeah, okay. So we got the notes right here now. See, that's also a good point as why time lapse videos are much better. Um. Yeah, it's actually a lot more better an excuse to start making videos for you guys rather than just, you know, uh, you know, sometimes I don't feel like it, I guess. I mean, I, you know, the day does drag on and eventually I'm like, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> but, you know, uh, but I guess that's also because I try to do commentary and play the video game at the same time. I mean, right now I feel pretty 
uppity since I don't know. <laughs> I'm only focusing on one thing rather than focusing on another, which of course uh, leads to better videos, I suppose. Um, let's see. If you guys haven't noticed, um, the mic quality may have changed. Uh, I have had this mic for quite some time. I did use this mic for my. Uh, uh, what's that? Oh god, I even forgot the name. <laughs> My Minecraft video, Chronicles of the Exile, which unfortunately I think I may have to can it. This is now, this is official, it is cancelled. For the time being, I don't know yet, it's uh, my, I still got the files, still got all the stuff there. Um, problem is, I've moved all the way out of where all my friends are and they are the, uh, vocalists or the, the audio guys, the guys that do with the voices, whatever. I know, I'm, I'm in it, I mean, I'm the main character, of course, but... <sighs> You know, it's kind of difficult for them to drive all the way up here to Lancaster. Me driving all the way down there, bringing all the equipment. So I guess that is the uh, problem with me making it. I mean, I wish I did do it a little further, but, um, you know, I just didn't have the means anymore. Especially with me moving and all. So if you guys are still the ones that do, or have, watched my Chronicle of the Exiled. If not, go ahead and give it a try. G give it a shot. I mean, I know I only have five episodes up for it, but... I don't know. Go ahead and let me know what you think about it. I mean, I do like nice comments. I do like comments. So, you know, <laughs> I like being flattered. <laughs> but, um, let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. I know I have a, a bullet point here. I just don't know how to read it. Um, I think, oh, there we go, yeah. While I was trying to figure out what to say, we just missed a, another Steamboat Stupid moment. Uh, it decided just to go all the way around, and not, I thought what it was going to do was just, you know, maybe drive around the lake for maybe like five minutes, and then they go back to the dock. Um, but I do figure out how to f solve that later in the video. I thought, it, you know, uh, there's like this little button there, but don't worry, I'll show it to you if I don't miss it, but you will see it. You know, if I if I don't miss it, um, or if I do miss it, I'll tell you, there's like a, uh, a small little button on the bottom left part while you're building the uh, steamboat it says you can build another dock and I'm guessing that is where it will go if you make another second port so more than likely I will be pay making that uh, possibly to connect to the uh, Wild West well actually not the Wild West it's more of a mining company yeah it's like a mining town that's what I'll go ahead and make it right now this is like the uh, main uh, how do you say main port for the steamboat it is still themed after the white city um as you probably already saw that i already called it um white city steamboat uh you know if you guys have a better uh <laughs> i didn't get a good name for that um if you guys have a much better name rather than white city steamboat it's gotta it has to stick with the the theming of course you know go ahead and jot it down on the comments i'll go ahead and give it a shot um but, uh, yeah, that's about for the theme park here. Um, moving on. Well, let's say not moving on. I kind of went off tangent. Uh, but, yeah, if you guys did notice that the mic here might be a little... I don't know if you guys... Uh, go ahead and tell me in the comments again if this mic is a lot better than the old one. The reason why I don't use this is, again, I told you I use this for my... Um, trying to make a high-quality video with the Chronicles of the Exiled. Uh, however, the problem with this thing is I have to hold it, and sometimes the, uh, what do you call it, the, my voice kind of reverberates and kind of changes depending on where I move, and you know, I'm not much of a sit-still kind of person, I like to fidget somewhat, I guess you may have already noticed with this video, how my voice does change. Um, the other one, it is rather low quality, the one that I've been using so far for these videos, is a headset. Um, I know that's not a quite a uh, high quality video, but just the way it's a lot easier to do with uh, to deal with that because after all it is a headset. Oh, there we go. Right, well, right now let's go off tangent again. Um, right there, I was trying to build to see if there really was something wrong with the steamboat, and I wanted to see if it was just because it was too close to the shore. So I don't know if I did it yet. I did just see myself trying to do that, um, but I think later in the video you'll see me trying to uh, rebuild or like, test it out to see if the steamboat really is stupid and it, you know whatever but you find out later um but yeah just let me know if you would rather have me do the uh the headset 
I mean, it is rather low quality. I have been hearing a lot of feedback or stuff from the background with that one. I did do a test on this one, and that's how I found out that the uh, it reverberates a lot, depending on how far or how close it is. So right now I'm really holding it, trying to keep it still. Oh, there you go. There I am. And yeah, same old stupid steamboat. Yeah, it doesn't know where it wants to go. So apparently it is the ride. It wasn't just the placement of the ride. But again, like I said, I found out why, which I will fix eventually. I do think I turn or, yeah, I close the steamboat for now, at least until I build the second port. So that will be probably, what, halfway into building this park? What are we? We're not even halfway if you don't... We're, we're actually just starting this park considering without the, uh, the parking lot in the hotel. I mean, that... Most people don't even tend to make the hotels or theme park or the parking lot. They just go directly to the, uh, the park, which of course is understandable. I mean, I mean it is. It was kind of boring making that hotel and that theme or that uh, parking lot. But I don't know. I like to go a bit of a distance and try to do everything there is that can possibly be done in theme uh, RCT3, which of course that's also guaranteed more videos. Um, I am considering right after I'm done with this theme park i'll move on to another one possibly uh either a water park um probably a combination of both park, water park and theme park or something along the lines of animal kingdom um i will try to make as much uh or as many kinds of theme parks as there are i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and say that this one's gonna be like the vanilla well not like the vanilla like the the what is the word i'm looking for uh, the the basic yeah I guess the basic theme park uh, layout um, of course it's got a hotel so I, it's not quite mm, let's see I think it's not quite up to Disney standards it's more like uh, Dollywood I would say that's the inspiration I got from this theme park is to make a a Dollywood theme park sort of thing uh, I don't know if you guys have ever been to Dollywood but um, some of you guys I'm not sure if you guys are from there um, but yeah, it's sort of like a wilderness park. I'm not sure if they have a hotel. That was kind of like a sort of my idea that was just based off, of course, Grizzly. Uh, not Grizzly. Uh, the Grand Californian at Disney's California Adventure. And yeah, I've seen those comments that say that they're from Cali. Yeah, that's right. We're from Cali. That's right. Best theme park place in the world. I know they say Florida is the, what, theme park capital of the world. But honestly, where did it all come from? I mean, come on, Disneyland, where did it start? Knott's Berry Farm, really, come on, that is the first uh, first amusement park in America. So, And SeaWorld, too, I think, I think SeaWorld started here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have to look that up. But I know Knott's, Knott's Berry Farm was the first American theme park. Not amusement park, theme park, I believe so, yes. Um, Disneyland, the actual um, theme park that started it all to make everybody say that they're a theme park and no longer an amusement park yeah don't worry i'm gonna also get to that with my theme park 101 videos also and about theme park 101 um i've got loads and loads of ideas of what i can do with that series um first off i am deciding that uh i might redo it um i may just finish the bnm uh tutorial for now i'm gonna go ahead i, I already got i guess once i'm done with this i'm already gonna start recording that one that one's going to be about the inverted coaster um but once i'm done with all the b&ms uh let's see we got stand-ups oh i'm about to do the inverted i'm going to post that right after this one um at least until it's done uh inverts stand-ups uh flying roller coasters uh Unfortunately, RCT3 does not have the winged coasters yet, so unfortunately we're going to go have to skip that. Avast virus database has been updated. You did not hear that. That was a lie. No. It's erased from your mind. Back to Theme Park 101. Anyway, um, ta -ta -ta -ta. I was talking about the B&Ms. Um, I think I might be missing one. I'm not quite sure. Uh, shoot. All I know is I have stand-ups and flying coasters. Um, 
I'm about to do the invert, and of course, like I said, I can't do the winged ver uh, winged coasters. I may be able to do another one, possibly once I get once I make the theme park 101 a more professional looking series rather than it is right now. Just using RCT3, which eventually will be using a lot more than just RCT3, possibly cuts and edits and special effects and uh, um, and the like. Think of it as like. Uh, I'm gonna, trying to figure out a good example here. Um, possibly, like, it's kind of like Did You Know Gaming mixed with Game Theory. I love that guy, by the way. Kudos to him. I love his videos. Um, it's going to be kind of like that, but about theme parks. So, everything you want to know about theme parks, I will try to put in as much as I can. Um, but there might, I mean, you know, considering that I am going to try to join the, the network, um, of course, um, I may also include some RCT3 tidbits. I mean, of course, I don't think I don't even know if I can use real life videos of parks. Um, maybe photos. I'm going to have to go and look through that just to be sure. So I don't get any copyright infringements so far. I've been safe so far. Um, but I'm going to have to go ahead and look through that to find out if they if I can use certain pictures. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, about Theme Park 101, I keep sidetracking myself, what is wrong with me? Um, <laughs> uh, Theme Park 101, it's gonna be, let's say, for example, I think the first official Theme Park 101 video I'm gonna make is the difference between a theme park and an amusement park. I mean, I know some of you guys don't knew, do know the difference. However, I mean, it is the perfect starting point to what I'm what I'm planning out. So, you know, I'm going to make a video about that. Um, da, 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 wow, you've already killed about five, 16 minutes into our video. <laughs> See, that's a lot better than uh, me trying to figure out what I have to say. Because I'm more, half my brain is worried about what I'm going to build. And the other half is worried about what I'm going to say. So I guess that's also why I'm going to be doing time-lapse videos from now on. And you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys wanted this. So more time-lapse videos for all. Um, you know, let's go ahead and figure out what I'm doing here in the video. I kind of got sidetracked in what I've been saying. But uh, right now I'm making one of those uh, food court stands. You know, the little wheel cart or the cart stands that just, you know, get wheeled into the park. Uh, yeah, don't worry, I don't use the hot dog one. I remember, oh yeah, I forgot. We have custom par uh, custom stalls. Ooh. Um, but yeah, I think it just serves like nothing but hot dogs and drinks. Uh, it's your typical cart. And of course, I price them the right way. I mean, I, let me see. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I didn't notice. Probably you guys did. I went over a little bit to the uh, main entrance and started repricing everything there and finally opening the shops. I mean, let's see, what's it, I think it's like 20 bucks for a shirt over at all theme parks, about like, um, what, $5 for a cup of coffee there in certain theme parks, $3, uh, don't tell me how I know about that, um, uh, but yeah, whatever, they're seriously expensive over there, unless of course some certain places they do give you discounts depending if you have a season pass or not. But, uh, yeah, still very freaking expensive. Um, usually it's just best to, like, go ahead and, uh, bring your own kind of drink or food and just go ahead and eat out and just go back inside. But, unfortunately for these guys, they have to eat inside the park, so, meh, on the peeps. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and take this couple last few minutes. Let's see, we're already at 19 minutes. Ooh, boy. Um, I'm gonna take this last minute to ask you guys, you know... Um, I'd like like it if you guys go ahead and ask me any questions at all, possibly any suggestions too. And from now on, I will be doing some uh, video question responses at the end of each video from our time lapse videos from now on. So it's also another nice filler also to connect with you guys since I love you guys so much and I want to know all about you guys. Uh, of course, although it's you guys knowing me more because you guys are answering the question, asking the questions than I'm answering. So, it's you guys getting to know me more. I mean, if you don't want to know me more, I guess you don't have to ask questions. And I'll just leave it at that. No, fine. I don't have any friends. But, yeah, anyway, if you guys want to ask any questions, 
some I guess if you want I guess you can ask some personal questions some I may not be able to answer um, but some particularly into theme parks you know go ahead and ask me that um, anything theme park related I can definitely answer but that's it for now it looks like it's all over see you guys later Hey guys, thanks again for watching my video here. If you guys want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. More videos on the way. And speaking of videos, here are two other ones you'd like to, if you guys want to go ahead and watch. Uh, also, go ahead and check out 4Play Reviews. They're a Let's Play video uh, series rather than Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, so go ahead and check them out. Also, I do have a new fangled Twitter and Google+, Plus. so if you guys want to go ahead and follow, click the links above. Thanks again, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time.